Hey guys, Charlotte here from Damson and welcome back to another Tech Tip Thursday. This week I'm going to be teaching you really quickly how to create filters in Gmail that will just help keep your inbox super tidy and organized. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm just here in my Gmail inbox and I've just brought myself to my Google Workspace label just so we're not sitting in my actual inbox and seeing all of my emails. So as you can see here, most of them anyway, are labeled Google Updates um, with my Google Updates label. Now, a really fast shortcut instead of individually labeling these emails as they come in is to create a filter. So if I go up here uh, to the top of my Gmail and I see show search options here, this actually is not only the place that you can do sort of an advanced search, but also the place where you can create a filter. So at the top here, I'm going to say, who do I want to create this filter for? So I'm, I'm going to say it's from any emails from this no reply workspace at uh, Google Workspace updates, because that is where all of these Google Workspace updates emails come from that I need to have all in this label for my work and um, so that I can see what are the latest updates from Google. So I'm just going to put that in the from section there. And then if I scroll down, you can put a to section as well. So you can get really specific here, but I'm just going to kind of do an overarching one that is kind of a general create filter um, for this label. So there's obviously a load of different options in here. This is kind of more for a search, but you could also create a very specific filter, but I'm just gonna create filter just with that email address. So if I click create filter, it then gives me um, a load of tick box options, what I want to do with the emails that are coming from that email address. So I have a skip the inbox or archive it, mark as read, star it, uh, apply label, forward, delete, uh, never send a spam, always mark it as important, never mark it as important, categorize and apply filter to matching conversations. So what I would like to do with this label is I don't want it um, kind of muddying up my inbox because I just go to the Google updates when I have time and when I'm trying to update myself on Google, maybe once a week. So I don't want them constantly filling up my inbox. So I'm going to say skip the inbox and archive it. And then as it goes down, um, I could say mark is red as well, but I won't do that because I want to see how many of them are coming into my inbox. But the most important part is choose label to apply. So these are the labels that I have just in my inbox, but I'm just gonna choose Google updates. Um, so now what's gonna happen is every time that a Google Workspace updates email comes into my inbox, it's gonna immediately archive it and archiving it means that it's still available in the label. So it's just archiving it out of your actual inbox, but it's bringing it to the Google Works Workspace updates label now. So it's just gonna be in there instead of just sitting in my inbox and making it look like there's too many things to do in there. As you can see, when I've chosen archive it, it also uh, blanks out the delete it version because obviously archive and delete are kind of two sides of a coin. If it's archiving it, it's probably not going to delete it. Um, and then all the other options you can continue to mark as well. So you can mark pretty much as many as you want, just not delete and archive at the same time, which is really cool. So you can give it a whole load of functions. So now I'm going to create filter. And now this filter is turned on. And if I want to see what filters are active, I can just go into my settings, view all settings. And if I go into filters and blocked addresses, I can see I have made two of these now because I did a demo for myself earlier. But you can see that they, these filters are now active and they are working. And that is how you create a filter in Gmail. And you can obviously do so many different things with this. Um, this is the place here in your settings where you can edit and delete them as well in case you don't want them anymore. Um, but you know, you've got a lot of um, a lot of power here and a lot of uh, um, granularity that you can get down to in terms of filtering. Um, and what I'm going to do in another video is uh, that's linked here, I'm gonna show you how to create forwarding, auto forwarding in Gmail with filters, which is super handy, especially if you know, you've got an accounts person that needs to do all your invoicing and you're getting the invoices and you need to just send them to them and they're not hassling you at the end of the month. This is the perfect tool for that. So that will be another video that I will link here. And then the final and last thing that you could do is you can export them. You can export your labels. So 
obviously I have an unselected here. If I select one, I can export it. And if I select that, it's going to download it as an XML file and you can actually edit that in text editor then um, when you're done if you want to edit that file. Okay guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this week's update. It was just super quick and easy. Um, hopefully it'll keep your inbox nice and tidy. Let me know in the comments if you've actually used this feature or if you're going to use it now. I think it's brilliant for productivity and keeping yourself completely organized, which is really important to me. Um, as always, please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you're not already subscribed and don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram as well. And I'll see you next week.